check, check. All right, all right. Here we go. Check one. Get this running. Hold on a second, folks. Let me get this going here. Scene, scene, scene. Is there a reason that's not working? Give me a second. One second. All right. Swipe it over. Boom. What's up, folks? Seth here at Plastic Galaxy Toy Store. Back at it on Sunday. This is February 28th, 2020. Freaking one. 21, 21, 21. Hope you guys are doing well. Good to see you again every Thursday and Saturday right here. 7 p.m. Central. Facebook.com slash uh, forward slash Plastic Galaxy Shop. And, um, of course, on YouTube. Let's see who's in there. Let's see what's going on tonight. Scott M, what's up, Scott Lewis Brown? What's up from Georgia? 80, man, that'd be nice to be today. Nice, nice, nice temperature. Justin Davis in Canada, hello. What's up? Uh, what's up, John Carver? What is going on, Joel? Don Barber, good to see you again, sir. Justin Davis, good to see you guys. Good to, good, good you guys are hanging out. Appreciate it. I can, I won't say this every time, which I've been saying for a long time, whether you buy something or not. I'm totally cool with it. I just appreciate the fact that you gave a damn to spend 30, 45 minutes with us. I appreciate that. Like and share and subscribe and all that stuff. That's I wonder. I appreciate that. What, hello, Chris. Hope you got. Hope you're doing well. Uh, appreciate all that. All the support. You know, all little things like that make, make a big dick, make a make a big deal to us. And also, I'll, as I. Somebody made it, left a review on our Facebook page not too long ago, and I, or uh, Yelp or whatever it was, I forget which 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 site it was, but I appreciate that stuff. That means a lot. A lot of business owners don't emphasize that enough, or I should say, maybe they do, and people it doesn't come across. But it really makes a lot of difference. It it, it just uh, self um, affirmation that what you're doing counts. It matters, right? So there you go. Okay, well let's get some things going tonight. We got some cool stuff, some new stuff. Uh, up on deck. We've got some vintage stuff as well. We've got some modern stuff. I've been, you know, uh, like I've always said, our inventory goes in waves of modern and vintage. Sometimes it has have have we have both. Uh, we have both tonight. But I like to keep it diverse for everybody. We have all Star Wars tonight. We got some cool stuff that uh, you know, I'll throw out there for you. 
much like much like the sale last time. Uh, everything's you know really moderately you know in the price ranges that people can afford, and uh, you know we've got some other things on the horizon we're working on as well. Uh, possibly, Joel, uh, actually working on some hot toys uh, locally here, so we'll see about that. I haven't had hot toys in forever. I mean, uh, a long, long, long time. But that's funny you mentioned that. I had a customer actually just. A, Customers become friends, right? So one of my friends has got some hot toys. He uh, met, was uh, saying if I was looking at, uh, wanted to buy some from him. He had some Star Wars, some uh, some Marvel stuff, and you know discontinued stuff that likely purchased from me or some of it, anyways. Okay, so hope that answered that question. Um, so we got some Star Wars tonight. That's what we're doing about twenty two items, twenty three items, vintage and um, and of course, um, modern. Okay, let's get things started. Without further ado. Hope you guys are having fun tonight. Okay, let's go. Let's start this thing out. We have got PG number 20. PG number 20. You know, it's been a long time since I had a lot of figures, but I'm going to do a lot of, of vintage here for us. The, all these figures are in good shape, I would say. All loose and complete. That's how these came to me, so that's how I'm going to sell them. We have a Rebel Commando, right? Nice condition figure. We have also got, uh, what else we got in here? Let's do this together. Nice Greedo. I like the green on Greedo, right? Greedy, greedy, green Greedo. We've got General Maydeen. All these figures in good shape, man. Nothing, no major issues, no weird ass joints and crazy. Oh, that's a nice Leia. Really nice Bespin Leia. Look, look at the hair on that. Not a whole lot of loss. You can see it. Just a nice figure. Like I said, nice, you know, affordable figures. And in my travels, I tend to find that even loose figures is kind of funny. You'd be surprised what they're what they're marked at. Um <laughs> Maybe one of these would be the price this whole lot. But anyway, you're getting a lot of five vintage figures here. PG number 20. PG number 20 for 24 bucks. There you go. It's acting weird. What's up with what's up with uh what's up with YouTube? I'm not sure what's going on. PG twenty is twenty-four dollars. Uh, maybe it could be on your end. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. PG twenty is twenty-four dollars. You got a Carl Nimsel. Carl, Carl, Carl. And Carl, I still have your items. Uh KM. Uh, Carl, I still have your items. Okay. Thank you, Justin, for that uh, confirmation. I still have your items, so I will get this with your last with your other stuff too. I've got it boxed up right there and I'll and I'll just throw that in there with, with your stuff. That shouldn't affect the shipping that much on that. So I didn't uh I wanted to wait till today to make sure in case you want to add something so that way you don't have to worry about making their shipment. So there you have it. Okay, good here. Everybody's good. You Tim. So Casey. Casey, call YouTube and tell them to fix your shit. Anyway, I <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, up next, check this out. You know, these are interesting. I ha I don't see a lot of them, but these are one of my favorite modern items, and I'll tell you why. Um, you know, in the mid in the mid in the nineties, you had the power of the four stuff and the episode one stuff, obviously. But out of all the mailaways and all the weird stuff that they had, you know, the, the interesting things. This is my favorite, and I love it because it's a figure that would have been awesome on the vintage line and this is actually a really nice um vintage looking figure really good job but they didn't really make them all hulked up like the the the, the power of the four stuff right check this out this is bomar monk this is still sealed in the baggie comes with the box you see right there and it also has the instructions for those who don't know who Bo bomar monk was he was the uh the droid right in uh, the background of return of the jedi when the when the uh when the uh, door was closing, this is a badass figure. It's uh, brand new. Like I said, it's still in the, it's uh, still in the packaging, and it has the uh, paperwork with it. Super, super cool. PG number three. I love this figure. Twenty nine dollars to mail away. This was actually, from my understanding, a harder to get mail away. I don't know why that was. Maybe they just didn't do it as much. But people search for this one. PG three is twenty nine dollars. No problem, Carl. I'll take care of you. PG number three is twenty nine dollars. This is awesome. And John Wall wants that one. John. There you go. I'll put John. I haven't mailed yours out yet, so this will go with, with with your with your stuff as well, and I'll get it out to you tomorrow for your other two items. I'll drop it off in the morning. As a general rule, okay, I'm into the mentions about shipping. I usually take about two days to ship. Um, now, sometimes if if things happen, like um, somebody contacts me, like and uh, for whatever reason, you know, they're like, hey, I'm going to pay you the next day or whatever. Um, I usually make a shipping run on one day. Then if it takes a little bit longer, I'll do it the next day or what have you. So a lot of times it's, you know, kind of like how quick you pay determines how quick it gets shipped out. But having said that, um, I'm going to try to get everybody out tomorrow. Usually within two days is kind of my rule. And I usually get it out within one day is my goal. It's just depending on shipping supplies. Okay, there you have it. Uh, Dave Fanta, I may have another one of those coming up. So, I'll, so stand by. I think I've got one more of those. So we'll, 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 we'll hook you up. Okay, up next, what do we got? I want to do that. It's kind of silly. Uh, I'm going to open that up. Well, we'll do that maybe. I don't know. Interesting. 
All right, up next, let's let's change it up a little bit. So this is awesome. Uh, let's do this next. PG number twelve, PG twelve. This is another Black Series piece. I don't have a whole lot of... Actually, I need to dust that price because there's a little, little box damage. Let's do this. Uh, PG number 12. I don't have a whole lot of Black Series left. I had some I had some in the last couple collections that we had. Uh, this was a GameStop exclusive. And I remember like, I remember just having memories of these items. Uh, just incredibly popular. And now, of course, no longer you can't get them. This was the GameStop exclusive Snoke, right? With his throne chair. Super cool Supreme Leader Snoke. You see it right there. And I just noticed, I, I admitted the price on this. It had a little damage right here. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about that. So it's still factory sealed, of course. I knocked 10 bucks off the price of this. They're usually about 50 to 60 bucks. I went ahead and made it uh, and knocked it down for you guys because I just now saw the damage right there because, you know, hey, you know, I get it. You know, maybe you want to open it, maybe you don't. But I don't want you to pay for damage. Uh, PG number 12, PG 12 on this piece. So you're getting about 10 to $15 value here just from, a, you know, what they sell for brand new, which is brand new. PG 12 is $39. Supreme Leader Snoke, this is the GameStop exclusive. Like I said, there is a little bit of box, and that, that's how it probably came in the shipping box, right? So, you know, not like I dropped it or anything, but if it did, whatever. PG 12, $39. Like I said, discounted this a little bit. Somebody wants a factory sealed on this. This is GameStop exclusive. I think that was only, you could get only get it there, if memory serves. I don't think they, a lot of times they'll say exclusive, then all of a sudden you can get it at some other store that GameStop couldn't sell it and it went to some other place. All of a sudden it's not exclusive. The exclusivity, the FET behind me. There's no FET behind me. Oh, that's my childhood FET. That's my childhood FET. That's it, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> that's, you can tell, I've told the story a million times. Uh, the rocket is chewed off of that one because that was uh, my doing. So there you have it. My only surviving, one of my surviving toys from my childhood. So, yes, you know, I chewed it. So, PG-12, $39, pink litter snow. Okay, move along. All right, up next, let's do, uh, okay, I found some more of these. These are super cool. Three and three quarter. These are case fresh black series, three and three quarter items. I've got some more vintage stuff coming up, so stand by. PG number 14 on this next one, PG-14. Case Fresh Chewbacca, three and three quarter. Love it, right? You know, like, and, you know, like I said, it's Case Fresh because I opened the case. So nobody else has touched it besides me and Hasbro, unless somebody else, you know, whatever. But anyway, nice piece. You know, no price tags and that good stuff on there on the back. Nice, clean, clear bubble. PG number 14. PG 14 is $19 for these. You know, some of these, I don't really follow this line a whole lot, but man, some of these older ones really. The packaging, they command the attention. So there you go. PG-14 for Chewbacca is 19 bucks. Nice. Look at that. I like how they did the um, embossment here on the card. It's nice and shiny. Clear card. You know, clear bubble, all that stuff. You can see some information about Chewbacca on the back as well with Han Solo, etc. If you like that kind of stuff. This was, uh, this line was from, it actually predated the, the uh, Black Series, like the, the uh, bigger Black Series, right? So I want to guess it's probably 2000. 13-ish, 2012, 2014. Okay, so it was a year before the big black series came out. Okay, move along. Let's do some vintage stuff. Check this out. Okay, up next, this is a badass po uh, a badass photo I found locally. You know, you don't, I don't find a whole lot of stuff locally. You know, I like going to antique stores and things like that. Not necessarily for things for me, just because I like weird stuff, right? And this is not weird, but it's interesting. So check this out. I c this this is to me this is artwork, but it's an actual photo. It's, it's an actual photo. This is I can tell it's an an early an earlier photo just by the type of paper and the and the and the uh, the coloring on the back. So check this out. It's still in the the the, uh, the um it's been shrink wrapped all around. I've just got some cardboard backing. Here's R two and Leia. Right, you see some numbering down here. This is 577. I'm not exactly sure where this came from, but you can tell it's older because of the yellowing on the back. So I'm guessing this was a black and white from some press photography or something like that. But it's super, super cool looking, right? This would be awesome to get framed up. It wouldn't cost you a lot to do it, and it looks really cool. And just that, you know, that iconic scene, right? I mean, that could sum up a lot of Star Wars and just the, the, that picture right there, right? A lot of things going on there before and after, right? PG number seven, awesome photo. It'll ship like this, and I'll make sure it's not, it gets you nice. PG seven is $34. I've not seen one of these before, but I like the black and white. I like old, uh, you know, monochrome or a, a black and white photography. It's super cool. PG number seven on this piece is $34 on that one. And I got Natalie Ann on that. Oh, let me see. Natalie Ann. I'm going to give it to you, Natalie. Saw you right there. You corrected yourself in time. 
Natalie Hudnall. And I said, that's an interesting item. It's, it's just different. I just I never find this stuff, and I just happen to see it. So right around the street from my house, too, it was like, seriously? But there you go. Cool piece. I like it. Natalie Hudnall. Thank you, Natalie. Internet, interweb is supposed to be slow today. Fanta, Dave, you're coming in. You're coming in <laughs> 60 seconds after. It's okay. Okay. What's up next? What are we going to do? Okay, this is cool. I like this. I really like this figure, too. This, you can see, was the deleted scene from the original. I hate calling it A New Hope, but whatever. I call it Star Wars, and they, then they started doing episodes and all this other stuff. You know, Let's just call it the original Star Wars, right? This was a deleted scene character. Remember, everybody remembers this one? Blasted Biggs, where are you? <laughs> anyway, Biggs Darklighter, there he is for you on a 30th anniversary card. Really super cool. If you guys remember that, 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 that outtake or that scene that didn't make it in the movie, pretty cool. That, that would have kept it in. I kind of would have enjoyed that one. But there he is. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, the, of, of um, maybe the Mandalorian, the guy that played the Mandalorian, the Pascal guy. has the mustache got the, or the perv stash, whatever you want to call it. But have you, there you have it. Uh, or the guy from also from... Um, um, from Rogue One, I forgot his name too. The the gentleman that played that character, or played a character with a mustache. PG, uh, you dunk. Okay, okay, Dave. PG sixteen is nineteen dollars. Really super co uh, cool on this one. A little bubble thing right there, but still, this is a really cool fi uh, figure that they haven't made a whole lot of, and it's pretty cool, right? Blast it, Biggs. Where are you? There he is. PG at number sixteen, nineteen bucks. Shane sample taking that home. There you go. Nice little card there. I like that stuff, man. You know, oddball stuff. You know, the, the extra, you know, everybody got the Lukes and the Vaders, which are always, you know, commands and money and what have you. But it's cool to have the oddball stuff, the side characters, because you don't see them pop up as much, right? Okay, up next, we're going to do another. Let's do a lot. Now, this is super cool. PG, oh, sorry. PG number four. PG four. Check this out. PG4. These are three mailers, modern mailers, but this is, I want to get these cheap out to you guys for a lot price. All unopened, I mean, all in their baggies unopened. So you got some Cantina characters. You got, forgot his name right there with his accessories still sealed. The, uh, the bald head dude, that guy, uh, playing that, dun, 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 that dude. <laughs> Never made a vintage character out of him. Interesting, right? Which is cool. The second one you got is the uh, Spirit Obi, oh, excuse me. Uh, Spirit Kenobi, which is cool. Still in, the, still in the baggie. All these come with their boxes, by the way. I just found some of this small stuff, and I was like, man, somebody probably appreciate it. There's number two. Number three on this box is um, a second. Actually, hold me to make sure. Hold on, stand by. Okay. Well, let's, let's do this. I want to amend this. Let's just, I'm going to just throw this in there. So you're going to get two of the Cantina members. It's, it's a duplicate, right? I didn't know. These two duplicates, and then you're going to get the, the, the uh, Force Obi-Wan Kenobi. What number is that again? PG number four. Let's just do this. I want to just throw that in there for free to somebody. Give it to your kids. Give it to your dog. It doesn't matter. For the entire three of those, PG four. Just do $19 for all three of those. I, I thought it was a different character, and I don't want somebody to buy two of them for the hell of it. You know, whatever. Have fun with it. Open it up. PG4, 19 bucks for the set of three. All these mailers. You know, you know, nothing nothing special, but hey, get them if you want to. Uh, let's see what we got on there. Holy crap. John Wall. And Shane wanted it. And Casey wanted it. Scott wanted it. David Fanon wanted it. Jerry Friday. Good grief. Uh, we got John Wall. Wall. Got you, John. Anyway, cool stuff, right? N not crazy expensive. Okay, up next. Now, this... Let's do this one next. PG1. And this one, I've you know, oddly enough, I've only seen it a couple times. It doesn't make it expensive, but it's cool. This is badass, and I'm really not a big fan of the Episode 1 movies, but, I mean, they're okay. But this is awesome. Got the uh, the uh, Battle Droid, of course, with his uh, speeder bike. If you want to call it that, it says Stap and Battle Droid, excuse me, with firing laser missiles. Factory Seal, of course. And I was actually surprised, kind of poking around, figuring out these are kind of like 
not pricey, but episode one kind of pricey, you know, whatever. But anyway, it was, oh, it was a sneak preview. That's probably why there wasn't a whole whole, whole bunch of them that I see out there. PG-1, get it, get it gone. PG-1 for $19. They actually do a really good job on episode one toys. I know the Power of the Force gets a bad rap, but some of these episode one toys have really good sculpts. PG-1 is 19 bucks for that one. Somebody wants that one, take that home. Still factory sealed in the box. You know, still 20-something years old, whatever the hell it is. I don't even know. Uh, this would be 98, right? So 98. Long time. I can't even think that long back. I was just out of high school. So there you have it. PG-1, $19 for the droid with the uh, speeder bike thing. Something different, something cool. Still factory sealed. And Casey Jackson wants that. CJ. Like I said, interesting stuff. You know, this is so not expensive stuff where you could open it up or leave it with a backdrop. You know, it's, it's cool. That's kind of interesting, you know. There we go. Okay, up next, let's do this piece, next piece. I'm going to talk about this because it's probably the nicest example that I have seen. It's a vintage item, too. And I'll tell you why I think it is probably the nicest example, and we'll go from there. PG number nine. PG number nine. So check this out. We have... You guys remember, uh, some of you may not remember, but you know, the large size action figures from Star Wars. Limited run of those. They didn't do that well or what have you. They didn't even make it to really the Empire, Empire line outside of Boba Fett and IG-88 were the two ones that kind of carried over. And that was it, right? I'm pretty sure that's correct. So you had your, your main characters there on the large size action figures. Now I'm going to tell you why this next piece is, in my opinion, why, it's, why, why it survived you really nice. Here is a Darth Vader. Large size action figure. Boom. Now check this out. It is open, and that's actually probably a good thing because I think at one time th the, the box has some way right there. But don't worry about the box. I'm going to throw the box in for you. But other than that, the box is actually pretty nice. The, the, the window's still there. But the figure is gorgeous. I'm talking, and I think what happened is it had some damage on it in an attic or whatever. Somehow got who knows what happened to it. And then the ta they just opened it up and just left it, you know, kind of left it alone. But check this out. And it's got everything, 100%. First of all, you get the catalog, right? You get the always sought after. We really do care, like a dollar bill. Take this. Somebody buys this. Take this to your Walmart and say, oh, I, want, I, want, I want something for this. Just kidding. But it does look kind of funny, right? You get this. What's up, Tony Johnson? And you get this absolutely gorgeous, and I'm talking gorgeous, Darth Vader, and and I'll tell you what I usually see on these, and you guys probably out in your search to see the same thing, dusty, moldy, dirty, crud that, that gets on this guy. Look at this. Look at the helmet. The the cape's in excellent condition. This is probably the nicest one I've seen. I've had some. I've had them graded before. I mean, I've seen them graded, and that are really nice. But I mean, loose like this, no tears in the cloth. There is the uh, the joints are still there. You know, these are on rubber band joints. Look at that. Clean. Look at that. No scratches, none of that stuff. Just, just a superb example of, of, a, of a large size action figure. And then with that, you also get the insert, right, with the saber. Heavily reproed saber. You see them on, you'll see a, one of these sell with the cape. If it sells for like under $200, you almost know it's a fake. Just for that reason only because the Sabre alone is like a $100 piece. It's 100% original. It's authentic. You can see it. It's still in the, uh, the insert. It's extremely nice. Um, so I'm going to put this back in here. So here it is. So basically what you're getting here, I'm, and the box is coming with it too, with everything you see. This is being a ship price. This is a gorgeous example. PG number nine. If you want to start a run of large size action figures, and kind of go from the top down with just just immaculate, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tight tight limbs. PG number nine with the box, inserts, paperwork, the whole deal. PG nine is two hundred and ninety nine dollars shipped on this piece. I've seen graded examples sell for twice this much, probably for this condition. I realize that's graded, but that's half the cost also. So there you go. PG nine is two ninety nine shipped. This is drop dead gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. No rips in the uh, cape. It's one. It stands up on its own, as you can see. No problems there. And look at the look at the helmet too. Just no no scuffing or anything major on there. This is how it came right out, right out of the, uh, and the the glare. Maybe showing some 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 problems with with you know just some uh, reflections. But I'll tell you in, in person on the key on the keyboard. Right. No no markings. No somebody took a marker and marked it up. These are things. 
that really happened, right? There you go. Ship price on this whole thing is PG9 is $299. I'll take care of the shipping with that only for you on that for you. Like I said, the only major issue is right there on the box. The bottom is still factory sealed, as you can see. So a nice one. And the inserts alone, what I would do with something like this, go find a box, a really nice box without the inserts, and put it with it, and you've got just unbelievable condition for one of these, right? Uh, so there it is. PG9, $299, ship price on this Darth. Vader, it is gorgeous. I'm going to put it back in this way. It won't, won't, won't hurt the, uh, the tape. Sorry about that. I really like to talk about these because, uh, just so you can get the full gist of the condition on it, it is very nice. There it is. Of course, the back sides, and he is pointing at Leia. <laughs> anyway, there he is. Nice piece. Right over here. Okay, up next. Oh, don't forget the paperwork goes in there, too. Sorry about that. Okay, moving along. Up next, we have got, this is actually a pretty sought-after figure. And I was very uh, surprised. And uh, on modern stuff, I usually just try to, you know, do what I can with them. But Qui-Gon Jinn, this is VC number 75. I don't know what the what the craze over Qui-Gon Jinn is. It's like a $50 card figure. I want to just price it to move. PG-21 is $39. I don't know what this fascination with Qui-Gon Jinn is, but it's always been there probably because it was, you know, the actor, uh, what's his name? Um, somebody's going to chime in. Uh, I'm, 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 blank, I'm blank, uh, brain dead today. Uh, you, not Ray McGregor, the other guy. Dan Dina wants this one. What's the guy's name that played? Uh, somebody chime in and tell me. Uh, Double D for that one. Um, somebody chime in and tell me who, who, who played Qui-Gon Jinn, the actor. That's going to drive me insane. There it is. Um, Liam Nelson. There you go. I don't know why I had 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 a blank on that one. Hmm. Okay, up next. Okay, moving along. PG number 15. Here's a cool one. You know what? Let me see. Let's do this. Make up a new one. PG number 51. PG 51. I'm going to do some lots here. Of this stuff, because I mean, I, I put it together, then it, I'm like, man, that would make sense to go together, right? Let's do this for the pair, not and save you a little bit of money too. PG 51, father and son, Luke Skywalker, 30th anniversary card. There is, of course, uh, the ceremonial Luke with his DL 44 and coin and coin. You get two coins, the coin and the big coin, and of course, Darth Vader reaching out. Let me help you. Let me help you. Okay, <laughs> there you go. PG-51. Um, I knocked off about 10 bucks on the combo here. Somebody wants it. PG-51, $39 for the pair, so that's less than 20 bucks a piece. About $25, $30, 20 bucks here, something like that, so I just knocked off some money on these. PG-51 is $39. Both are clear in good shape, no major issues. like doing these lots like this. Jeremy Sleazen, and I happen to really like these, uh, these carded figures just because the card art's nice. There you go, Jeremy Sleeveman. There you go. Boom, rocket. Now here's something different. Here we go with something a little different. And this is not expensive, but I will say that it's desirable. This doesn't mean always be expensive, right? Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this is some uh, print ads from an old newspaper, right? And you'd be surprised people didn't keep this shit, part of my language, this stuff. But this is interesting because it was during the release of Return of the Jedi. And this uh, particular paper is from the Sun Sentinel, which happens to be in, in Broward County, I believe, which is the Fort Lauderdale area uh, in that vicinity. So maybe you're from there, maybe you're not. But this was dated May 26, 1983. Of course, that would have been the release of, uh, around the release. Sorry, it's, it, that's making a horrible yellow on That's not that bad. Ret of, of, of uh, Return of the Jedi. So you've got some reviews here, and then also it continues on to another page, which talks about it more. I kind of I scanned through it. It's interesting, interesting stuff here. Uh, it's actually in very good condition for its age because it was kept in this type of comic slab kind of thing, you know, like a little backer on it. And it also has the original headline here, Return of the Jedi, the first day, plus a review. Uh, so that there's that. So this is cool. It's interesting, not expensive, but it's a good way to kind of relive, relive some memories and take you back down to when Return of the Jedi was released. Not expensive, uh, but uh, still people go after them because it's, it's interesting to see them, right? PG number eight is 19 bucks for that. You know, cheap stuff. 
If you want something interesting, something different, get into some vintage stuff for not much money, but some memories attached. Maybe maybe you remember going to see the movie. Maybe you remember seeing the headlines, the marquee. An interesting piece. PG-8 is ni- just $19 for this one. Excuse me. Been preserved well. This is how I got it. So if you want something different, I always like to throw this kind of oddball stuff out there. A uh, newspaper uh, section of review and probably has some commentary on the movie from the local movie guru in that area. Anyway, it's something different. PGA, it's $19 for that piece as well. Okay, let's move along. Next, next, next. Let's go. Here we go. Let's check this out. We have got number PG-13. Another Black Series, three and three quarter. Three and three quarter Black Series. Another uh, clone. People love these clones, man. This is Clone Commander Wolf, number 12. Clear bubble. Nice car. These are all, uh, pardon me, these are all case fresh because that's like I told you I pulled these out of there. Sits good. All that good stuff, what you want to see. And uh, even, uh, this is like the loose price. Some of these clones are expensive. I mean, Rex, Wolf, Cody, they're all expensive. I'm just like, it's probably like a loose price. PG-13 is $24 for the uh, for Clone Commander Wolf. Uh, go go buy some loose clones complete. They're freaking crazy expensive. They're more than these sometimes. PG-13, $24 for Clone Commander Wolf. Cards in good shape. Check them out in the back. Leader of the Wolf Pack Squadron. Wolf Pack Squadron. We have got Casey Jackson again on that one. Casey Jackson. There we go. Put that over there for me. Okay. Up next, what do we got? We have another one of these. I forgot who wanted one. I've got this last one. This is Bomar Monk with the box. With the box, complete with the instructions. Mail away, which was a badass figure. What's up, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Good to see you there, buddy. Well, hello there. <laughs> PG2 is $29 to the Bomar Monk. I, th- I forgot who wanted this, but I'm, I'm going to throw it up here again. Uh, got one more of these to go. PG2 is $29. Bomar Monks with the, with the box. Badass figure. This was, of course, one of the droids in the back of Return of the Jedi. Uh, Mail away exclusive and kind of tough to get. I don't see a lot of them, but, you know, that's still modern, but still really cool. I'll show you the detail on one of these things. It's badass. You can see uh, all the uh, still factory sealed in the baggie. If you don't have this figure, it looks awesome with vintage to- with the vintage line, and also you have the instructions with it as well. As, well there you go, boom! There you have it. Instructions, the whole kabang with it's like a brand new toy. Open it up if you want to, not keep it in the box, whatever. PG number two is twenty nine dollars. I forgot somebody wanted the, another one of these, or I had tried to get one of these, but there it is. If you need it, hope you can see it. What's that? Oh, I, maybe it was David, but um, it's okay. David, if, if, you, if you need this after the sale, let me, h- hit me. If not, no big deal. Okay. Um, up next, another tough VC to get. And I think it's because of the character, right? PG, you know what? Let's, 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 do, let's do a little better than that on this one. This is a steal, too, for this character. VC number 27. VC 27. I saw one of these not too long ago. Uh, this is Wicket. Always a fan favorite. This is like a $40 card of figure. It's got a little bit of wave to it. This is not major damage. I'm just going to just get it out of here, right? PG number 10. Check it out. I don't think you can find one listed for this price. PG 10 is $29 for the Wicket with the Boba Fett off. Forgot to love that, right? And on the back side, you can see the original Return of the Jedi card right there as well. A cool figure. Got Wicket with his hood and whatnot. And hey, he is the definitely the most popular Ewok out there. Tim Ernst. T.E. What's up, Tim? Good to hear your name called. Here we go. More stuff coming your way. Boom. Okay. Up next, I have got... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consolidate some of this stuff just for time constraints. PG-52. PG-52. Sorry, Paul, you just missed it. PG-52. I've got a lot... As I mentioned last time on the sale, I do not... Really mess around with pops a lot, but when I get them in, I just clearance them out and go. Uh, but these are good thing about these; these are exclusive. These aren't the ones that came from like Walmart shelf or something like that. The commons, if if you will. So check this out. This was a, a, a Walgreens exclusive, and this is cool. I actually dig some of these because they're different and they're not like the common kind of stuff. 40th anniversary Walgreens wedge Antilles. I think it's like a twenty dollar pop, something like that. I don't know, but 
I'm going to do, do you better on this. And this is the cool one. These are both Walgreens exclusive. Sabim. This Rebels one, I do remember when that came out because people went nuts over this one. And this is like a $40 pop. So you got like $60 worth of pops. But guess what? I don't care. PG-52 for the pair of these pops. I'm going to knock off like $20, $25 bucks in this stuff. PG-52 is $39. That's like the cost of this one. Probably... <laughs> It's just if you need pops, you want you know somebody wants pops. This is a good deal. If not, no big. I'm gonna clearance and get it out. PG52 is thirty nine dollars. We got on that John Wall. Loading up. There you go. I'll combine that stuff for you tomorrow, John, and get you shipped out. Um, up next, another loose lot of vintage. Another loose lot of vintage. Man, people caught those pops. <laughs> well, I didn't realize. Okay. PG number 19, a loose lot of figures. We have Hammerhead. All these are in decent shape. Hammerhead. We got Leia Bausch, right? So you can see it. It's no major issues on that one, of course. There's Mr. Sam Person. There's another Greedo. So I've had a couple of Greedos. And then, of course, a Biker Scout. All these are in decent condition, you know. No major. You got some rubbing here and there, but still, for this price, they're not beaters. PG-19 is $24, less than $5 a piece for vintage Star Wars loose figures. PG-19 is $24. $24 for the awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, and we got on there Mike McGilly. Double M. I've got a baggie right there. I'll put those in there. Or not, no big deal. Okay, up next. Sorry, I clapped too loud. Let's do this. Stand by. I'll go. Check this out. PG number 18. Black Series 3 and 3 quarter. Awesome piece here. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always love this. You can't go wrong. PG 18 Stormtrooper 3 and 3 quarter. Black Series. Uh, great detail on these as well. I really think they did an awesome job. PG 18 is $24. Can't go wrong with the Stormtrooper uh, 3 and 3 quarter. Remember, this is the original Black Series before they came out. Like I said, it's the... Uh, the uh, six inch black series, right? PG uh, 18 is 24 bucks for the number eight oh, uh, Stormtrooper. I think this is number eight in the line, actually. I think that's right. Which makes sense. They usually throw out the Stormtroopers early because they're very recognizable. There it is in the backside, and it tells you war wearing their iconic white armor. These elite Imperial Stormtroopers enforce the Emperor's severe will across the Galactic Empire. There you go. Something different. PG-19, uh, PG, PG-18 is $24 on that piece if you want it. Okay, just going through some stuff here. That's with that. PG-6, I found another one of these. I found another one of these. I sold one the other day. I'm going to price this exactly the same. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make a little deduction on this because I see a little bubble ding, but that's it. I see a little bubble ding right there. It's not even a big one, but I'm going to take money off. I took five bucks off of this. Because of a bubble thing. So there you have it. PG-19, 24 bucks for the Darth Maul, uh, 30th anniversary Darth Maul Saga Legends. PG-6 is 19, excuse me. PG-6 is $19, my apologies, on this one. There's a little bubble thing here. That's why I just took off like five bucks. So if you want to open them up, whatever, it's in good shape. Uh, we got on that. Uh, PG-19, 24. Uh, I think I was backwards. I think J Jeremy Sleesman, I got you on that one. That was my fault. My fault, Jeremy. There you go. I know I know that's what you meant. It was my fault. I said it wrong, so there you have it. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Target exclusive, three and three quarter uh, from the uh, Saga line. Still in the, the shell, the clam shell. This is cool. PG number five, General Grievous, Demise of Grievous. This one, he, when he uh, goes berserk, see him? In the, in the uh, clamshell there, PG-5 is 19 bucks for the Target exclusive. Still un unopened, like I said. Cards in great shape. Just getting it out the door. PG-5 is $19. A lot of this stuff, man, I'm just clearing out. We, we either had it for a long time or it's back stock, so just take advantage if you want it. If not, it'll go back into back stock. And originally, uh, there you have it. Shane Sample. I got Shane Sample on that one. Okay. Okay. Let's go over this one more time. Let's see what I can do on it. PG number 9. PG number nine. This is the, mentioned this earlier, unbelievably gorgeous. If you didn't see it earlier, I'm not going to go over it again. But it comes with all the paperwork, the, uh, of course, uh, Kenner certificate. We really do care. And, of course, the, uh, uh, the catalog. PG number nine. PG nine. Check this out. Man, 
gorgeous. I mean, just drop dead gorgeous Darth Vader. And like I said, you find a box. It's got the insert. It's got the cape. It's got the uh, it's sword, the lightsaber. Unbelievable condition. I've got them there upside down for reasons. because I don't want the cape to, to get hung up. All right, PG number nine. Like I said, the box has got that in there, but I'm saying really what you really care about is the figure and the inserts and this. So like the, the box, you can find one for like 50 bucks, probably in really good shape and complete this. Let's do this. I, here's what I'll do. Check this out. This, my friends, PG number nine. I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. I think you can find a box, a really clean box for like 50 bucks or a nice one, 50 bucks. And then you got this one. I'm going to knock off 50 bucks because I'm going to give you a box or give, uh, give you a better shot at a box. PG nine is $249. For this condition, with the inserts and paperwork, I don't think you'd be hard-pressed to find that. If you find a perfect one, you're going to spend $350, $400 for a nice box, a nice figure. PG9, $249, ship price on this one, out the door. Gorgeous, absolutely drop-dead gorgeous on this piece. PG9 is $249, ship price on that. And Don Barber, there you go, Don. That's a nice pickup, man. You'll like that one. Get you, if you find a better box, you're going to have just a gorgeous a gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> Scott said, thanks, Don. <laughs> You're saving somebody's day. <laughs> but I'll tell you, nice, nice, nice right here. That's a good pickup. I'm, it's just, like I said, the box is the only thing, but man, everything else you need there. There's that one. Okay. Um, let's see. Just because I want to sell everything, let's, sell, let's, let's, let's get this in a lot. <laughs> I was close to pushing Sid. It's the, is, it, is the hole in the pop? Uh, I, no, I don't believe so. Let me see the bottom of it, other side. Nope, hole was the hole was in there. It, it wasn't. It wasn't because of the pop. The, yeah, I'll sh n yeah. No, the hole. The hole. Let's see the pop down here. That was not because of the pop. That's just maybe somebody tried to open it that way or whatever. That thing is gorgeous. Anyway, let's do this lot and get this stuff. Actually, let's do a let's do a big lot. <laughs> here we go. This is this this lot makes absolutely no sense other than the fact that it's Star Wars. But hey, I guess that makes enough sense. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Because uh, just because I like to, to get everything done and sit to somebody. Check this out. PG number 60. PG 6060. Six zero. All right. Did somebody pick up this? Let me see that. Gee, I don't know. Yeah. yeah it's me. Nope. Okay. Black Series GameStop exclusive Snoke. Use about 50 bucks in that range. A little damage there. I had it at 40. Okay. Check this out. This lot makes no sense outside of being in, in Star Wars, okay? Black, uh, Black Series 3 and 3 quarter. Uh, Stormtrooper. You can get that with it. Chewbacca. 3 and 3 quarter. You can get that with it. All right? So roughly 40, 20, you know, probably 80 bucks-ish right there. Kind of had it priced. Bomar Monk. There's about hundred dollars right there, right? Nobody wanted that one, so there's that one. We also have the newspaper clipping, which I thought was kind of interesting. That was like twenty bucks, you know, here, there, no big deal. And then I'm gonna throw this in for free because I know somebody will want it. This is factory sealed Pez candy. You get all four of them. Open them up, eat them. I don't know if the candy is any good, but there they are. It's still an open. It's just one of those novelty items, but hey, it looks pretty cool. Hey, you get Chewbacca, R2, Soothe Repeal, and Yoda. So all these you're going to get in a whole lot here for everything. Let's call this Let's call this PG60. PG60. You stick around long enough in these sales, I'm going to start blowing some of these lots out. <laughs> it happens, right? So PG60 for everything. Let's see what I can do here. Let's do Yeah, let's do this. PG60 for the entire lot, for the entire lot here. There we go. PG60 for everything, $69, right? This is like 40 bucks by itself. So basically, you're going to get a couple items for free. Call it what you want. You're going to get these two for free. You're going to get this for free, whatever it is. PG60 is $69 for the entire, entire Star Wars little collection here, if you will. Justin Davis. <laughs> he says, I'm going to get something, damn it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, there you go. It's a cool little setup for you. But Justin, that's great because I've got a box for you that I can throw this in that's already ready to go. Uh, actually, I've got some more, you know, and uh, for tomorrow I'll, I'll check on that, that shipment too. So there's that. Justin Davis picking it up. Hey, you know what? Cool stuff. All right. Do we got anything else? 
that's it for tonight, folks. I believe you got it, you got everything gone. So I appreciate you guys. Tune in next week. I've got some more irons in the fire that I'm looking at. I've got some potential hot toys coming up. I'm glad somebody mentioned that. And some more vintage stuff always on the on the outlook. So stand with us. We appreciate your support. Thank you again for tuning in. Let us know what you had. Get you taken care of via PayPal and shipped out. That's how we do it. You guys have a great night. And uh, adios. Later. <laughs>